This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. A courtroom of teary-eyed family members and loved ones as three suspects live out the Christmas holidays behind bars, accused of possession of dangerous drugs with intent to supply, were 34-year-old Kenny Major, 36-year-old Patrick Bain, and 41-year-old Brian Marshall. The trio was found last week in the area of Fish Key, South Andros, in possession of 3,870 pounds of Indian hemp. When they appeared before Deputy Chief Magistrate Shibasola Swain this afternoon, they were also charged with importation of dangerous drugs, conspiracy to possess dangerous drugs with intent to supply, and conspiracy to import dangerous drugs. The trio pleaded not guilty to all counts and was remanded to the Bahamas Department of Corrections until February 1st. They can, however, apply to the Supreme Court for bail. Meantime, the hunt ends for Shane Mackey. He's the 37-year-old of Turtle Drive, wanted for a rash of stealing and fraud offenses in relation to a car scam. Police say he was arrested on Thursday. Also now in the hands of the police is Anastasia Mori. She was picked up by officers from the anti-corruption and financial crime branch. Police are trying to figure out who's behind it and where they're hiding in the case of drugs found early Sunday morning in Yellow Elder Gardens. We're told intelligence-led officers headed to a bushy area after 7 a.m. yesterday and recovered four pounds of marijuana, that's $4,000, and three rounds of ammunition. No arrest was made. Another two armed robberies also under investigation. Police say in the first, Two gunmen walked into a gaming establishment on Market Street in Bahama Avenue after 9 last night, held an employee at bay and robbed the place of cash before escaping. Nearly two hours later, a man was at Porter Ski Dock when a group of gunmen robbed him of a cell phone, cash and gray Honda Accord before speeding off. Well, along with the armed robberies and drug find is the ongoing probe into the country's latest homicide, a gruesome discovery for children playing at a field near Martin Close off Cowpen Road after noon Sunday. Here's what police press liaison officer Chantanol shared with reporters on the scene. Officers, upon discovering uh, this man's body, noticed that he had injuries to the head and, of course, to the neck area. And, of course, we are... Uh, classifying this one as a homicide. Neighbors say two days ago they heard a noise similar to that of firecrackers. Given Halloween, the residents did not pay any attention to the noise. We suspect the injuries may be consistent with gunshots, but of course we will have to wait an autopsy's report to determine that. Authorities say the man appears to be between 35 and 40 years old, the third homicide victim in recent days. Since um, last week, Monday, we have had a number of patrols on our streets. You know, this is, is, this is what, the third murder in, in homicide in a, in a few days. But since last week, Monday, we've added patrols to the streets of New Providence. We've scaled down on our uh, administration work in police headquarters so that we can ensure the public that we are out there and, and their safety is definitely our concern. PLPs to spend the next few days memorializing the life and legacy Minister Bradley Roberts, opposition chairman Fred Mitchell telling our news team that the party is awaiting word from Roberts' family on the funeral service, but that a memorial is planned here in the capital at Gambier House, as well as the party's headquarters in Freeport and throughout the islands. Roberts collapsed and died at his Skyline Drive home last Thursday. He was 74. Outside his political life, Roberts was a founding shareholder of Sunshine Holdings Limited and its first chairman of the board. Corporate Secretary Kyron E. Strawn says Mr. Roberts and his partners, collectively known as the Sunshine Boys, transcended the obstacles that prevailed in a pre-independence Bahamas and redefined the possibilities for future generations of Bahamian entrepreneurs. Meantime, the PLP has decided to postpone its announced annual general convention scheduled for November 14th, 15th and 16th to May 2019. That ends this segment of our news on sports and weather. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.